welcome back to Shakhtar to Glory, uh, episode 20 now. So this is officially the first uh, episode of the new season. Uh, last time out we had the, the transfer special, uh, we just went through all the ins and outs. Uh, as you can see we're still on the 21st of July, I did put, touch upon that on the last on that episode. There is still some time for some stuff to happen both ways, in and out of the club. Um, but today we're going to be looking at the uh, Super Kubok Ukraini, which is the champion uh, the charity shield equivalent uh, i guess we did win it last year i think against kiev it's a quite a tight game but we you know we came through it um before we get into that though if you're enjoying this series this content um that i'm bringing out for the football manager uh you know drop me a like uh on the video drop me a comment uh sub to the channel all that usual sort of stuff really um but without further ado we'll get into it uh so we're going to jump in this game as you can see we did touch upon as well pre-season's gone not too badly so far it has still got a little bit to go and I may even try and squeeze something else in there before the Alexandria game um, after this game for where we go ideally I'd be looking around here for this Kiev game but it kind of does depend on the Champions League group stage uh, if it happens if the draw for that happens before here I may well play the game based around that if it happens after this, we'll play Kiev, and then we'll do whatever game is around that. But I imagine it will be probably around the Kiev sort of game time. I think the playoff is drawn on the 10th of August from what I looked at. So it will probably be played around here, I imagine. Uh, around here somewhere. and uh, So the 18th of August, so around that sort of time the draw will be happening. So hopefully the Kiev game will either be just before it or just after it. Um, so, but yeah, we'll get into the uh, the cup the cup game now. Uh, we go in as I think league and cup winners. So Kiev, I guess, yeah, Kiev get in there as the league runners up. So it's the league runners up that gets the opposition spot because we beat I think it was Stahl in the final last year. So we'll jump in. Uh, team wise, uh, we're gonna stick with what we were doing. I haven't set the team up already. It's a bit a uh, bit disappointed on my part. I've, I've been messing around with the tactics and seeing what we can do. So who are we going to go with? We're going to have Matthias Fernandez is going to start Fred alongside Fred. Uh, the new sign, Matthias Fernandez, obviously. Uh, Bukko is going to be the first choice right back, it looks like, this season, I imagine. Uh, Cerner's just a little bit on the old side now, but he's good cover for both sides as a sub. Uh, the usual back three, Pierre Tobin goal. Leo, the new sign up at uh, the left left back spot. Uh, we are going to go with probably Barak here to start with. He has, uh, do you know what? I'm sticking Fizeo in. He's he was immense last season uh, and he's young as well so we'll go with that uh, we haven't got a goalkeeper on the bench primarily because Shevchenko is injured but I don't tend to put one on anyway uh, who we've got on the bench have we got any strikers we don't seem to have so we'll take Barco off we'll put Paulinho on the bench we'll give him a chance and we will take he's a striker we'll leave we'll take him out I think he's the young the young player we've got so no he's the young one we've got so we'll give him a chance and we'll take Manashev out for Freitas the other uh, box to box option we have so we'll jump into the game so who have they got uh, they did actually sack their manager at the end of last season uh, he was a bit mouthy and we, we touched upon in a couple of the episodes in the um, team talks and he played a 4-4-2 this guy is very much going for 4-2-3-1 and I don't see their top scorer even on the bench so I'm wondering if he's been sold or if he's injured, but they've also they also had the Ivory Coast or Ghanaian striker. Was he Nigerian? I can't remember his name. I can't remember who he was exactly. The guy that played for Hull and I think Norwich it was, and um, he's not on the bench either. So it's a bit of a strange one. So yeah, a bit of a change around. We'll send the assistant here, but so it'd be a different sort of situation we face with Kiev this year. First highlight does go to us. There was nothing from the kickoff, but we get this first one here. Tyson straight into it. Bukko, he's already booked. And a bit of ping pong in the box before Matias Fernandez on his official debut. Played a few of the uh, of the friendlies, obviously. I think he's got a couple of goals as well. So Bukko gets the uh, ball out wide, whips it in. Vizeo hits the bar. Semi clearance, Fred clear, hits it. Leo hits it, and a great strike from Fernandez to give us that one 0 lead inside the five five minutes. And that's a great start because obviously last season we started off a little bit slowly against Kiev, obviously. Um, obviously still a long way to go, they haven't had a shot yet, but they do get a quick second highlight. And they do equalise almost immediately. So, 
not all going our own way so let's see where we went wrong we've got a good line there so I'm Leo not looking good on his debut there getting absolutely rinsed on the on the on the wing so that's something we have to sort of certainly look at I imagine and tighten up with him they do get another highlight and it's another free kick Leo hooks it away but not very far not very convincingly um, can we win the ball back and counter here we do win the ball back can we play that across he can Tyson's in and he hits the post now we've got another chance here. We do win the ball back. It's kind of gone backwards and forwards a little bit. Tyson, and he buries that. It gives us a 2-1 lead on the half hour. Tyson, of course, still at the club. Uh, he was wanted last season. He's 30 years old now. Um, and Real Madrid, and I think Liverpool did want him. Nothing coming in the summer. Nothing's come in so far. He is one that, if the right deal comes in, I may look to move him on. Move him on. We've got a few young strikers that we can bring in instead and actually fit that position and we they get another shot there and we do manage to get it away and have a good save yeah we come into half time we get another highlight here uh rikitsky what can he do with it he can ping it but it doesn't go very far and they do have it back but bookco wins it as well tyson that's bookco frees tyson on that right hand side fires it in bookco fred romero viseo just fires wide that's a great bit of build-up play but we just couldn't finish it off. So we're at half time. And not really too much to say really. We've got the 2-1 lead. Uh, not entirely convincing. I mean, we're, we're dominating the shots and whatnot. But and the highlights have primarily been our way. But they do have another one here. They all seem to be free kicks. And is that a penalty? It is. Can Piotr be the hero once again? Not this time. He saved a lot last season. But he couldn't save that one. And we're back to two all. And this isn't going to plan. The new manager there having an immediate effect for them. Obviously by the end of the... Oh, we've got an injury, Tyson. So as I was just saying, he may be on his way out. Probably not now. We'll bring... Do we bring Paulinho on? I think Paulinho... Just, no, do you know what? We'll stick with the little bit of experience. We'll bring Baracki on. He, he was in goals last season. We need to win this game. Big game against the rivals. It's not a time to experiment with 18 year olds and young strikers. He'll get his chance. Oh, absolutely, he's good enough. But for this game, not right now. And it's another highlight to Kiev, and, but we do win it back. But they, you know, again, a bit of ping pong. Can we do anything with it here? Oh, it's a bad mistake. And Baraki, and I don't know how we've not scored there. It's overplaying. A bit like the old Arsenal, just trying to walk it in. And they've got a break from our corner, and that looked a bit risky. We get it away. So it's kind of again just petering down to full time. Ten minutes left. We've got a lot of players getting a bit tired. Whack is injured already. Um, we will bring Paulinho on now. And we need to bring someone on in the middle. Fred has to come off, and I'd say we're gonna bring on Alan Patrick. Give him a give him a chance. Another one that could have moved on may still move on. A bit like Tyson. Not actively looking to sell him, but if someone comes into him, I'll certainly listen to the offers and try and negotiate a good deal. As we come forward, Paulinho with a sweeping ball out to Leo here, and can he wasteful, 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 wasteful? Get a corner. Can we do something with it? No, but can we stop them breaking at least? We do, and can we break ourselves? Oh, he should have crossed that. It's the you know the thing we get with youth. Just a maybe a lack of decision making there has cost us the opportunity to get a couple of good chances off and as much as I don't want to lose this game extra time doesn't really do me any favours here and is that Leo off he's off two yellow cards great debut son great debut and there's not a lot I can really do I can maybe switch Adam Patrick out there we'll bring Paulinho down just sort of try and work through what we can here it goes straight to penalties, interestingly. Romero with the first one. And he misses. It's the post. And we need Piotr to be a hero in this. Doesn't save that one. Rabalka because the better of him again. Viseo steps up. And it's saved. Oh, what is going on? Kyla Bass against Piotr. Piotr with the massive save. Keeps us in it. But we need to score one now. Paulinho. Not free on the bounce. Getting absolutely FMs here on the penalties. And we have to score this one. 
we should have won in normal time. We had a lot more shots. The on target wasn't great, but we had the better of the game, I'd say. Mikitsky buries his one. So now we need a big save from Piotrov to take it to, I think that would take it to sudden death. Kacharidi, come on Piotrov. He doesn't, and they win on, penalty, on penalties. So the first competition of the season, we don't win it. Hopefully not a sign of things to come. Obviously we've got a big change up in the squad, and they haven't coped with that very, very well. And so we need to really bounce back in the league this season and oh, really get back in, you know, in swing. Uh, Tyson injured. Oh, it's a big injury. Two to three months with the specialist. So he certainly won't be going anywhere. Like we discussed, we'll see how the fixtures go with the draw for the Champions League, uh, Champions League groups. And we'll come back for then. Um, hopefully with a bit more better news to report in the meantime. And if we are playing that Kiev game, hopefully a better performance than that we've just shown just there. So until then, I'll see you later.